Hey, how's everyone going? It's good to see you all. <laughs> I know it might be a bit strange putting a uh, face to the voice. I um, am creeping up on 100,000 subscribers and I wanted to do a video saying thank you. And there's a few other things that I'd like to talk about as well regarding the channel. And I figured what the hell, I'd, uh, I'd bust out the old camera and <laughs> say hello. Um, so for starters, I, I don't know how to really put it into words. I, I never thought I'd be standing here and, and saying thank you for a hundred thousand subscribers. It's, it's a big deal to me. And not only from a, a, a views or a numbers point of view, but also, uh, I, I feel so grateful that you enjoy the videos that I make. And it means a lot to me that, that people connect with it in this way. So thank you for joining along. And I hope that I continue to make videos that you enjoy. There is two people in particular that I would really like to thank. Um, one of them is a YouTube channel called Baked Salmon. So when I first started, uh, my very first video, actually, the, the Travis Fowler Predator commentary, I had, I had released that and Baked Salmon made a community post to his fans and let them know to come and check out my video. Um, a bunch of people came across and they liked the video, they commented. Uh, without that, I don't think I would have made the second. Um, and if I did make a second video, it, it would have been quite a gap in between the two. So. That gave me the motivation to make the second video and I really, I thank Baked Salmon for doing that quite a lot. Um, I'd like to say that he, he makes some pretty funny To Catch a Predator content and if anyone is still here for To Catch a Predator stuff, um, go over to Baked Salmon and, and check out his, his channel. He, he's, he's a great guy. Um, I will talk about my To Catch a Predator content a, a little later on as well, just so you know. Um, the second person I would like to thank is a YouTube channel called Scribelight. Uh, so very similar deal to Baked Salmon. When I first started, he decided to tweet out each one of the videos that I'd released to his, to his fans. And it didn't matter if I did a predator commentary or a true crime, a true crime video. He was very supportive and he tweeted out to his fans. And, and even to this day, I still when I post a video, the, the comments go pretty quickly, but uh, sometimes I catch Scribe in there and, and he's saying tweet it out. Um, <laughs> so I would really like to say thank you to Scribe and he, he has some great content as well, true crime, political, uh, some really good podcasts. And if that sounds like something that might be a cup of tea, I would uh, encourage you to go over and check out his channel. Um, so yeah, a big thank you to Baked and Scribe. I, I appreciate what you guys have done. You, you've done a lot more than I think you may know. <laughs> uh, I guess moving forward, moving on, uh, I would like to talk about my Predator commentaries. So each week I get a lot of questions, people asking me if I am still doing the Predator commentaries. And I thought I'd let you all know that I actually am still doing them. I, I release them on my Patreon, my Patreon channel. So if Patreon is something that you're interested in, um, I'll put a link to that in the description. I'll actually put a link to everything that I've mentioned in the description. So you don't have to write anything down or remember anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I release Predator commentaries each fortnight, every second week on the Patreon. And I have a second YouTube channel called Dave's Lemons and I release some public commentaries over there as well. Um, if Patreon isn't your cup of tea for whatever reason, if you're not a, if you're not a fan of Patreon or you don't want to support over there, then um, that's no problem at all. If, if you really love the videos, just send me an email and I'll, I'll provide you the links to the videos. I do that with a couple of people already and they just, uh, they aren't able to join Patreon for whatever reason. So, yeah, I don't want, if you really have a problem with Patreon or if you 
um, cannot join for whatever reason, I don't want you to miss out on videos that you really enjoy. Um, what else do I have? There's the Discord server I wanted to talk about, which I have a Discord server for Dave's Lemonade, and it currently is for Patreons only, but I'm going to open that up to the public. So you don't need to be a Patreon member to join the Discord. Um, there'll be an, a public area for for you to join and you can just talk about anything really. You can talk about the videos that I make or anyone else makes that you enjoy. Um, there's channels for music suggestions, memes, all of that sort of thing. So if you want to like chat to like-minded people, um, that will be available for you. I'll, I'll put a link to that and invite in the description. Um, the final thing that I was going to bring up is I've been approached by a few companies to do sponsorship deals and they've asked me to, to run some ads on my videos. So I wanted to let you all know that that might be incoming. Uh, I won't be having any videos. I won't be having any advertisements in the middle of videos. It'll always be before they start. Uh, I think that it's a little with the stuff that I create, the true crime content that I create. I don't think it's too nice having an advertisement in the middle of it. So if you if you see some advertisements in the, the start of the videos, I, uh, I hope it's stuff that <laughs> that you might be interested in. Um, I, I just wanted to give you all a heads up on that one. And that, that about summarizes it. I don't want to ramble on for too long. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do want to bring it back to saying thank you because without each of you joining up, um, I wouldn't be able to do this, uh, not only from a like a, a career-based point of view, but just from an, a motivational, uh, knowing that there's people out there that enjoy the videos I make really inspires me to make more. Um, and I can't remember if I said it earlier or not, but I really do put quite a lot of myself into each video. And uh, the I was ne I was not expecting. The, the positive response that I've received and um, that that means a lot to me it means more than I could probably say so thank you for being here and I hope you're having a good one hope it wasn't too weird seeing my face <laughs> I'll catch you all in the next video take it easy <laughs>